with the top of my brows i'm gonna go in with the nw40 Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. How are you guys doing? It's a lot going on in the world and I hope whoever's watching you are doing great because it's crazy out here in these streets, okay? But anyways, we're on a quarantine and um, so yeah, we're stuck in the house. It's a good old Saturday. I have still been working. Um, my job is considered essential. So um, yeah, I've still been working but Today is my off day, so on my off days, I still have to quarantine like everybody else. But if you have been quarantining, let me know how you've been doing. Are you eating up all your groceries? Because I am. We're going with a natural makeup routine. Um, by no means am I a makeup artist. I just do what's best for me. And uh, yeah. All right, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and pin that to the back, back, back. This is what I moisturize my skin with. I just started trying this Fab Ultra Repair Cream out. It's really good. I have super dry skin and this is, this is a skin protectant uh, to help hydrate dry parched skin. Baby, parched <laughs> ain't even the word for this. But, and the Pacifica Super Flower Oil, y'all know I live for this. I do. I really do. I'm gonna have to put this in one of my favorite videos. Like, oh my gosh, it has my skin popping. I'm about to fill it in my brows. I'm going to be using the Precisely Brow Pencil. The pencil is so, so thin. So it it's like little hair strokes when you're filling in your brows or whatever. So I like to underline the bottom. And then we're going to line the top. And I kind of fill my tail in as I go. Once you get that top done, just go ahead and start filling that brown in, sis. Or sir. And then what I do is just start filling the top in. Y'all, I really don't have like no certain way of filling in my brows. I just do what I'm feeling. For the underlining of my brows, I'm gonna go in with my Tarte uh, Shape Tape. Tarte Shape Tape. and I just blend with my finger. For the top of my brows, I'm gonna go in with the NW40 from MAC. I've been having this for a little while now. I see to make anything focus, I'm just gonna have to move my face out the way. You didn't see that. I'm not supposed to be having soda. But you didn't see that. You didn't. So another thing I like to do since um, I'm a little dark under the eyes is go in with the concealer before I put on my foundation. It's going to be the same concealer that I used to line the top of my brows with. Look how good that coverage is, sis. I'm even going to cover up those glasses marks. Okay, 
So now I'm gonna go in with my Fenty foundation. This is the uh, Ultra Hydration Pro Filter, well, Hydrating Longwear Foundation. Um, I love this foundation. As I said, I have very dry skin, so this really works well for me. And like everything else, I'm gonna just apply that with my finger evenly distributed across my face like i said i don't like to wear too much especially since we're going with a soft look and i'm just buffing that into my skin We are going to conceal or highlight, whatever you want to call it. And I like to go in with the same thing that I uh, underlined my brows with. And this is going to be the Tarte Shape Tape. Same one, honey. This is in the shade Tan Deep Sand. And I'm going to go in with one more. Go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer. And this is in the shade Almond. Now I'm gonna go in with my Juvia's Place foundation stick. I use this as um, a way to contour, and I really like it. This is in the shade Benin. I'm just gonna go down here. And I go up here just a tad bit. I don't want this to sit too long, so I'm going to blend it out. And I'm gonna blend that upward towards the highlight to, pre to prevent any harsh lines, of course. And I usually don't, but I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of highlight here. And this one I'm not gonna let see I just don't want it to be too dark up there since I added the concealer so see now I have it like the highlight like even I think that looks much better And now I'm gonna add blush. This is MAC format. Now I'm gonna add a little highlight by Juvia's Place. Ooh, ooh, cool. And so now I like to blend those both together. All right, you guys, and to darken my lids up a little bit, I'm going to go in with this Kat Von D palette. So I'm going in with this shade. I'm just gonna buff that into the corner of my eyes just to warm my lids up a little bit. So I'm just gonna go in with my Total Temptation Maybelline mascara i do not wear lashes like talking about and i barely know how to apply them so anytime i wear makeup i'm usually wearing mascara and now for my lips i'm gonna go in with this uh, hair store eyeliner by NK Makeup. And 
and I'm gonna go in with my new lip gloss by Fenty Beauty. This is the brown one called Hot Chocolate. I really like this, especially for my skin complexion. Y'all might not see it, but I do. Let me show you. See? I got a little shimmer to it, a little, a little chocolate. And that is the look. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of eyeliner. So I'm gonna spray my face. If that's the all not a spray by Urban Decay, even though I ain't going nowhere. All right, you guys, so this is the finished look. Let me know down below if you have any questions on any of the products I used or anything like that. I hope this video was very informative for you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next one.